about making skateboards. One thing that's important about skateboards is things that perform seem to be made with precision. Anything that has to do with metalworking or machining or automotive is usually pretty precise. So if you build a skateboard with a computer, it's kind of a joke because it's a piece of wood. But if you do it, you're going to get a better product. If you get a better product, it's probably going to ride better. If it rides better, people are probably going to want to use it. If you can ollie a fire hydrant easier on this board than you can with another board, you're going to buy the board that you can ollie the fire hydrant easier. I mean, I need all the help I can get. So the better tool I put under my feet, the better off I am. you got to get on a really good board. It's got to be shaped perfectly. It's got to be pressed just right. And it's got to be made with absolute precision. Otherwise, you're not going to satisfy the end user. If you can't satisfy your customer, what's the point of engaging in commerce? Well, we'll play it more real down the factory. We're going to do a quick little bam, 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 bam. Check it out. place a good wood comes from, and that's New England states of the United States. Period. 100% East Coast Road, United States, Hard Rock Maple, as good as it gets. Kiln drive, 11% moisture content, perfect flex, perfect thickness, perfect cut, square. important aspects of making a skateboard. You need a lot of pressure. You need accurate pressure. or anything like that makes for perfection. CNC drilling machine drills all it holds at once perfect. Well, for no reason. No. Well, mainly because we don't want to like show the other manufacturers that are north how to make my boards. What's the point? If we got something better, and we show everybody why it's better, then it's not better anymore. I mean.
Well, it's all got to, everything's got to start by hand. You know, everything starts with Picasso and a paintbrush at some point. So you got to sit there, draw your design out. And it's all, at some point, all skateboards are made by hand. In this case, it's drawn by hand in a computer screen with precision coordinates. You can draw it, send it to a, send it to a computer, that file, you cut out a template or you cut the board out directly depending on your, how, how big your production is. And then from there, you end up with a perfect board, side to side, front to back. And then if you use a computer drilling machine and you use a computer cut molding process, you're going to have as good as it gets. Nothing is better. And this is all confidential information, but it's information that I would think someone who was interested in how skateboards are made, they'd want to know how skateboards are made. That's why the boards don't break as easy. That's why they have a little more life. Besides the fact that they come highly recommended by everybody who seems to want to be part of riding them. We make enough decks, we make enough wood, we supply the best companies with some of the best wood. All we're doing is we're just making a private label product, it's limited to 2,500 parts a month and we're off offering it to the people who understand what a real program is. And what a real program is, is a program where a retailer can take a product made with American-made materials, precision pressed, precision cut, built with an understanding of what skateboarding is, and then we're offering it to the retailer to where they can buy it for the same price they're buying their overseas product for, and then they can put it at 100% markup, and they do everybody a service. They win, they make a margin, we win because we're contributing to the industry by giving the best product out there at a price that, that, that people can afford when everybody's leaning towards a cheaper product anyways. And the customer who buys it gets on that thing, gets over a shopping cart without even trying, and he's like, damn, this product's better than everything I've written. What do you think? Impressive. You ever seen anything like this before? Not like this. They got a lot of boards on the wall. Yeah. Think these guys have a hard time delivering? I don't know. Either they have a hard time delivering or an easy time manufacturing. So if you're in an exciting industry, you're interested in your product. If you're interested in your product, man, there's nobody better than the person buying your product to talk to about the products that you guys are interested in. I think, in fact, it's not even a thought. But coming from retail, the retailer is important. And yet there's no company out there that directly supports the retailer. And, you know, I've been in retail since 89. I love retail. I think it's probably the best, most exciting, and funnest place to be in any industry. Because you're one-on-one -on -one with people who are interested in what you're interested in. You know, I'm not saying all retailers are interested in what they sell, but I would hope that at least some of the retailers that are involved in the more exciting industries, like skateboarding being one of them, action sports, I guess now as it's called, would be, would be an area that's pretty exciting. I mean, it revolves around action, right? It's got to be exciting.